These are exact fighting styles that pros use in the third C that make them literally unstoppable. And these are the ones that will get you through the first and second C the fastest. So if you want to know what fighting styles are best for each C make sure you watch this video till the end. Today's shoutouts go to these guys. If you want a shoutout in the next video just leave a like and tell me in the comments your favorite fighting style in Blocks Fruits. So the first C. To be real here you don't really have much options when it comes to fighting styles. However, there are few of them so you should know which one is the best of course. So, first of all we have combat fighting style and we all know that it's literally useless. But to be fair you get it for free immediately when you enter the game so that's why it's so bad. But after that, we have dark step, electric and water kung fu. So which one should you use? Well let's see, electric is a really good fighting style to be honest. It has fast and decent damage attacks with good mobility. But more importantly it's very easy to use, and the price is only 500k pelly, you can buy it from the mad scientist who is located at the Sky Islands Island. But also we have the dark step which is very good for beginners as well. It's even cheaper, 150k pelly, and you can get it from the dark step teacher who you can find at the pirate village, here at this secret location. But the best one in my opinion is the Water Kung Fu. Why so? Well Water Kung Fu is the V1 of the well-known Shark Man Karate which is basically the V2. And we all know that the Shark Man Karate is a beast at grinding normal NPCs, which should be your primary goal if you're first C. Just completing quests and leveling up. So if the Shark Man Karate is that good so is the Water Kung Fu the same? Not at that level but it is good indeed. It has great damage, fast attack speed, M1S have been recently buffed even more. And it has big area of effect and very low knockback which is super important for grinding normal enemies. So now that we found out that the best fighting style for the first C is the Water Kung Fu. How do you get it? Well you get it from the Water Kung Fu teacher at the underwater city. He is a bit hidden but here is the photo so you can find him very easily. And how much does it cost? Well just like the electric it's the most expensive first C fighting style with the price of 750k pelly. So the price may be a little turn off for some people. But in my opinion it's 100% worth the price. Now that we are in the second C we have much more options. Let's see. We have Dragon Breath, Superhuman, Death Step, and Shark Man Karate. So, Death Step is the V2 of a fighting style that we already talked about which is the Dark Step. And most players consider Death Step a really good choice for the second C, which it is. But not the best one though. If you want to get it you will have to get the library key from the Awakened Ice Admiral at the Ice Castle Island, and then pay 2.5 million Pelly and 5k fragments, but only after you reach Mastery 400 on Dark Step, that may sound a lot but you will get a fighting style that is very balanced and high damage, also you can do some really good combos, and Dragon Breath is about the same, it's decent and you can get it for 1.5k fragments at the Sabian Kingdom of Rose Island Wall. But now let's get to the best second C fighting styles. And those are the Superhuman and Shark Man Karate. I already told you how good the Shark Man Karate is. It's literally the goat for grinding normal enemies. Why? Well that's because it has insanely fast attacks that are high damage and have low knockback so you can just spam them. And how do you get it? Well since it's a V2 of the previous Water Kung Fu you will need 400 mastery on it. And then you have to get the water key from Tide Keeper Boss at the Forgotten Island. After that just pay 2.5 million Pelly and 5k fragments to the Digrock the Shark Man NPC and you have it. But also, I told you that Superhuman is also the goat of the second C. So which one should you pick? Well Shark Man Karate is more for leveling up and not PvP but the Superhuman is overall more balanced so you can choose yourself which one suits you better. I would honestly pick Superhuman because you will need it in the third C. So if you want to know how to get the Superhuman easily step by step check this video out. By entering 3rd C we get access basically to every single fighting style that there is. So it may be a bit hard to choose which one is really the best for you. The new fighting styles that we got are Electric Claw, Dragon Talon, God Human and Sanguine Art. And the first one that you should avoid picking is the Dragon Talon in my opinion. Why is that so? Well to be honest it has some high damage attacks but all of them are really slow and unpredictable. Also low mobility, and lag on all moves and high knockback. But if you want to get it you will have to get Mastery 400 on Dragon Breath and Fire Essence and only then you can pay the Yozo 3 million Pelly and 5k fragments for it. But a much better fighting style is the Electric Claw. It's insanely good for normal enemies as well as for PvP. Obtaining it is extremely easy. How? Well you have to of course earn 400 Mastery on Electro and then go to the previous hero NPC at the Floating Turtle Island. You will have to reach the mansion there in a short amount of time but it's really easy if you follow a good route. 
and then just pay him 3 million peli and 5k fragments and boom you have it. So which fighting style is really the best? Well comparing God Human and Sanguine Art is a bit useless, that's because they are both good in their own ways. God Human is just like the superhuman balanced and good in every aspect but Sanguine Art is much more PvP oriented and better for combos, so you can choose yourself which one you need more. So if you wanna know how to get both of them really easily check out these videos, leave a like and a subscribe if you wanna see more useful videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you soon.